that one. Ladies and gentlemen, All right, here I we please go. have your attention. I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Yeah, dude. Welcome back guys to a brand new video. I know I haven't been posting over a month. I'm sorry guys, I'm back. I'm gonna upload once a week now. I'm gonna continue to grind, continue uploading. But this time I decided to come out here in Frostproof, Florida. So I never fished this lake before. I was reading online that I had good reviews. People have been catching good bass lately at this lake. And so I was like, you know what? Last minute choice. This morning I decided to come out. It's currently 10 a.m. It's not an early start, but you know, it's something. And um, on the way here, I saw a lot of boats on the lake. And so I was like, all right, that's a good thing there's good bass out here so hopefully you know we're able to catch that monster we're looking for as well the boat ramp it was pretty packed there's about more than 20 boats and um boats out here fishing right now so i'm pretty sure they're catching some nice giants ones uh last night i did some researching i found out that the wacky sanko is working perfectly at this lake so i'm gonna try that out i'm still gonna continue that moving baits continue using the chatter bait hopefully you know also some flipping i see a lot of grass at this lake and so you know hopefully it's really juicy perfect weather out here in florida as well the wind is really calm it's not too windy it's the max i think is five miles per hour it's bluebird skies right now perfect weather not too hot not too cold so we're out here fishing it's an amazing day fishing i recommend y'all guys fishing right now it's perfect weather and as well the bass are spawning some of the bass are spawning in some lakes in florida so i recommend go go out there catch that giant and so today hopefully you know that's what i'm trying to do hopefully catch that five pounder i'm looking for i'm currently at the smaller lake right now so it's a little smaller there's a lot of vegetation a lot of cactus grass a lot of grass around this area but I'm gonna continue going down to the bigger lake uh, it's like a five minute ten minute boat ride down to the bigger lake so I'm gonna continue doing that and that's where all the people are at so hopefully it's not too busy and hopefully I'm able to find a juicy spot where there is not too crowded as well but um but yeah I'm gonna head over there start fishing perfect weather really calm out here I recommend it I'm gonna get to the first spot and let's get to the first spot start fishing guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with some flipping action right now. So what I got tied on is a half an ounce pegged flipping hook with a Benito Bug green pumpkin color. So I'm gonna try this, flip around these grasses and see what's good, and hopefully catch that five pounder we're looking for. It's crazy guys because it's really shallow and you can see the bottom. So the water's clear. It's just the, the bottom is really dark. And then you see some types some bedding. Don't know if it's bedding. Don't know if it's from the year before or from this year. But you see some beddings in some areas. And so don't know if the fish already spawned. And so I'ma just troll this whole area, flip around the grass and see if we get any bites for today. There's a lot of boats out here in this lake though. A lot. Got one, guys. First one of the day. I knew it. I sighted that bass right there. <laughs> Little one pounder, less than a one pounder. Don't know if he was on the bed. It looks like an old bed, but I seen him right there. Caught this one right here. It's a little small one. Sight cast it. I saw him right there through the Sanko. Wacky Sanko. He ate it. First one of the day. Hell yeah, guys. You gotta keep on fishing already. You already know. You already know. Having a great day right now. The sun is. Pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty hot right now. But you know, first one. Let me catch your, the mom was caught here. All right, baby. There we 
Dope. Well, guys, we just got our first fish. It was less than a pound, but you know, I'm at the first spot right now. So the first spot is really clear. You can see the bottom and um, it's really shallow. And so it's pretty amazing. I really like it. You see some old beds as well from last year. And so I was like, it looks amazing out here. It's really calm, really. There's a lot of boats out here as well. They're fishing and um, my chest GoPro wasn't on. So I didn't record the first fish on the chest, but I recorded it on the second GoPro. So you probably see that. But we're out here fishing. This is the first spot. I'm gonna see, hopefully, I'm trying to find that five pounder. But I know it's really clear, so I don't wanna spook them as much either. So I'm going slowly with the trolling motor. I'm not trying to go too fast. As well, I'm using a wacky Sanko. So it's really shallow, and so I'm using a wacky Sanko, letting it sit down all the way to the bottom, and that's when the first one bit. And so, first one of the day, it's not bad. We gotta continue on fishing. Still looking for that five pounder. Hell yeah, guys. So what I have tied on is right now, it's a wacky Sanko right here. And so it's a little green pumpkin, red green pumpkin, um, Senko. So I'm using this. I'm basically sight casting because I seen that fish and I threw it and that fish ate it. And so I'm gonna keep on looking to see if there's any big ones out here. And hopefully I'm trying to catch that five pounder, but it's crazy. I saw that fish literally right here in this little bed. Don't know if you can see that. Threw the Senko, he swam away. Right away he ate it and so. I'm gonna continue using this one. Hopefully this is gonna be the bait of the day and see how that goes. It's pretty sunny out, so perfect weather as well. It feels amazing out here. So, you know, let's continue fishing. Got one. Got one. Oh my god, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh my god. It's a nice one, guy. <laughs> He's on there still. Come on. We can't lose him. Recording too. It's a nice one. Oh my god, don't lose them. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. This is what you're talking about. Oh my god. Look at this right here. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to lose them. Whew. This is what I was talking about. Look at this right here. <laughs> god this is crazy oh my god this is what i was looking for today this bass right here things like a four and a half three say three or four it's a little skinny guy right now but he's really long i decided to do some flipping into the grass i threw it into this grass over there behind me it jumped out ate it i thought it was a gator or something but it was a fish i seen the fin nice healthy fish right here hell yeah guys look at this chunker right here this is what we're looking for today nice chunker i'm gonna let him go i took some pictures but i'm gonna weigh him real quick just just to see how much he weighs i want to know he's a little skinny so he's long but he's skinny so hopefully he's a little four pounder almost a four pounder hell yeah if he's a four pounder it breaks my pb so hopefully this breaks my pb i'm gonna weigh him real quick and see how it is but hell yeah Sheesh. we gotta keep on fishing guys only three pounds almost a three pounder he's a little long but he's skinny that's the thing he's not fat so if he was fat i believe he would have been a four pounder easily almost a three and a half but i'm gonna let him go thank you my friend hell yeah guys we gotta keep on fishing second one of the day i'm gonna continue on flipping hopefully that is the move at this lake i'm gonna let him breathe so you can swim away there he goes back to the grass he goes Yep, he's swimming back. So this is what I was using, Bandito Bug, right here from Guggen Baits. And so it's a Bandito Bug Watermelon Red, I believe. I think it's Watermelon Red, but Watermelon Red Flake. But this is what I caught that nice bass right there. I'm gonna continue flipping the grass over there. This is what they're liking, I guess. But I'm gonna continue using this. Hell yeah, I gotta keep on fishing, guys. <clears throat> haven't had any luck yet I'm gonna keep on flipping between these grass areas opening 
flip in them in there see if i get a bite it's been um it's been a good day so continue using this bonito bug really calm nice beautiful day it really looks amazing out here definitely coming back here in the summer or in the spring time it looks really nice and juicy all this grass area as well this lake is also it's huge so like i said highway 27 is right over there so the highways over there this lake is pretty huge every time i go down frost proof area i see this lake and today i decided i was like let's go check it out see how it is came out here caught two already still looking for that five pounder hopefully hopefully soon hopefully soon third one of the day hell yeah guys at least we were able to catch the third one before we left it's not bad guys another little one pounder less than a pound on the speed worm so i switched it off i was flipping throughout the whole day it wasn't working out i think i flipped too much throughout the day i wasted too much time flipping and i don't think the bass were enjoying the flipping bite and so i switched it off to a speed worm caught this one and you know before i was about to leave too i'm about to leave in 15 minutes hell yeah guys keep on fishing keep on fishing all right little guy thank you had a great time with you hell yeah all right take it easy homie there he goes it's been a long day guys so this lake kicked my butt this lake is was pretty hard on me but luckily i was able to catch four bass you know we didn't leave i didn't leave skunk at all and so i was able to catch almost a three pound bass i was happy with that and then i caught a little three squeakers throughout the day they weren't bad but you know i'm pretty it was pretty amazing day after all i think it was four bass or three four or three one of those two i forgot but still had an amazing day out in the water you know like i said when you explore new lakes it's pretty hard because you you don't know what type of bait you want to use you don't know what spot you want to fish at but luckily i was able to catch some fish today and you know whenever you're fishing new lakes it's hard at first but you know after a while it gets you out of your comfort zone it makes you try out different baits different techniques as well and so that's why i like fishing new lakes it gets boring fishing the same lake and i'm pretty sure it will be boring for y'all guys as well and so that's why i'm out here fishing different lakes here in central florida and like i said if y'all have any other lakes y'all want me to fish at put them down below in the comments below i'll check them out try it out see how it is I'm trying new lakes every time. I'm trying to become a better fisherman overall for me. And so hopefully that helps me out as well. It probably help you guys out. So, you know, try different new lakes, different ponds, different areas, different techniques, different baits. You'll become better at fishing. Luckily, we we're able to catch four. But I wish I could fish the whole afternoon, but I have to leave right now. And it's like a 10 minute boat ride to the boat dock. It's a pretty big lake here in Foster Proof, Florida. So I recommend it. And like I said, it's been tough and it's been a long day. I'm really tired, exhausted, but you know, I still had an amazing day. And so I'll see you at the boat dock. It's gonna be like a 10 minute drive for me, but it's gonna be quick for y'all. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I forgot to do an outro when I was at the boat ramp, but it's a few days later. 
but I still had an amazing day out in the water, you know. Fishing new lakes, it could be tough, you know. Fishing new lakes, you don't know what area you want to fish at, don't know what bait you want to use, but you know, it's pretty tough. But I still had an amazing day out there. I was able to catch four. Didn't record the last one. The GoPro audio wasn't the best, so I decided not to put it on the video. But you know, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any other lakes that y'all want to recommend to me, please leave them down below in the comments below. I'll try my best to look at the comments and like them as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully next video is going to be a banger as well. I'm still looking for that five pounder. But you know, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Peace. Pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense.